Hey guys, it's your robot Barcelona today. I'm going to show you how to make your own shooting game. So, that's to tell you guys. Uh, so, here's the picture of the person that gave me this idea. Thank you so much for giving me this idea. So, let's go. So, now we're just getting uh, to, uh, to shoot the sprite. Now, this is a shooting game. And, yes, we're going to have to try our best to actually recreate this. So let me start by getting this character. You, I'm gonna get any running character. You can be a girl or a boy. Now choose the background. You can choose any background. I'm gonna choose this one. Now get your character and then go in here and then get go and pinch out a little bit and go and don't choose any text. Yes, you are not gonna choose any of the words. First of all, go to the emoji and let's go to i think it was here actually no i think we're gonna come out of here here Never mind. so now let's go here and you'll see a lot of stuff but we're looking for this now it might be facing the wrong way so just make it face the other way and then after that now we're just gonna make it a little bit more smaller just a little bit yes perfect after that let us go here and now we have a character holding a gun it's actually a water gun so to specific it so now let's get the prisoners you see you taking uh, now if it's a two-player game we can i'm gonna make a new a tutorial about that but first this is just a one-player game so now get another character we're gonna make it like a zombie you can choose any one of these zombies i'm just gonna choose like this one i guess after that make it a little bit smaller and make it forever move forward and make it just one i quite also said let's make it move forward act now Anyway, so where does it? Yep, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Much better. Now we're gonna make it, and yes, it's moving pretty fast. So go to the timer and make it 5.4, 4, 4, 5.4. Okay, it's a pretty slow, so let's just make it one. Okay, better. It's actually running more smoother. Now let's go to the gun and itself. So let's start by making the gun able to shoot. Now we have to say the gun is not the thing that's shooting; it's the person that's holding the gun. And no, I'm not gonna make the gun a separate character. We're just gonna make it like this. Then after this, go to after this, we're gonna have to make a new sprite. Yeah, and yes, we're gonna have to make a lot of sprites for this video. So let's go. We're not gonna make like I think amount of like a few sprites, but we're still gonna make like uh, at least five. Yeah, I said at least. Now right, so let's go and make this thing. And it seems a little bit too big, but I think uh, I think it good enough. Now we're gonna make it for when gives out forever move. Yes, you might think why we can clearly see it right now moving. So get the height button and make it when 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 one like that's a method we're gonna have to make like a shooting button just right now let's make it one tap to, wait hold on a second ah uh, let us go back to the player i just i don't know why i just bombed out for a second we're gonna go to the player make it one tap send message and we're just gonna keep this message and now let's go here <coughs> and make it one of the message i'm gonna like i don't know hmm okay we're gonna have to make it like so i guess so now let's get the show button and now if we click on the person yeah here's the problem i for now don't forget guys we're gonna have to make it go to the play so that's gonna show and it's not gonna hide anymore so we're gonna have to first of all let's make it go to sprite quick okay so now it goes to the sprite every time we click it that's good now we're gonna make it well if it hits something like that's a matter and hit edge or or when it touches this person, we're gonna have to make a tie. So let's go. Now, if it touches any of the edges, let's just make it this one because because we're not actually gonna move. We're just gonna touch the player, but the zombie's not getting affected right now. So let's go. Actually, actually, let's just copy it for a few times. And yep, we're gonna have to copy it. And then go to the player. And instead of getting one tapped, we're gonna make it when game start. I think we already have one actually. So let's imagine when game start, wait until tapped and then just duplicate. Yep. 
but then we're going to make a new method. I don't have that many ideas for a new method. So we're going to make it method one, actually two. So now we have method two. Yeah, I, you can name it anything you want. And I just don't know. Just method two is the first thing that popped up in my head. And now let's copy it. Now, I don't know how much we're going to make, how much like messages we're going to make. It sounds how much, uh, how much you think you want. So I just wish that after, after studio, I want to tell you something. Please make something called clones. The, we know what clones are, but clones are the things that like make us, like let's imagine we have one sprite and that one sprite is about like that, uh, like this. Yes, we have two arrived now and these two are, there's a problem. So these two, we only need, we only want one because we don't want to use a lot of sprites. Of course, this is a big idea with shooting games. So whatever we can do, I don't know, but just make it. Like it's not that hard. So just try to make it, and the game that you can make on it, it's gonna be pretty special actually. We can make like about a, like a lot of sprites, but also it's a lot of stuff. It's important. Now, we just made like four messages right now, but we're just gonna have to, do that. we only have like two, and yeah, you can see, but here's the problem, if we click the character, okay, if we keep clicking the character like this, the shooting will only have like one, so it will just keep shooting, and that's bad. Now, let us copy it for a few times, one, and two, perfect, now let's put this one in here, and this one in here. Now let's get a hitbox for the zombie. The zombie don't actually still have one because if we keep shooting him, he'll still not die. So now let's make it uh, one touch. I'm gonna want to make it change. change. Now we're gonna make a new variable called zombie. Yeah. Zombie health. Okay, you can make the health as high as you want. So I'm just gonna make uh, now. So let's go to set and when game starts, set zombie health to now. Let's change it to I'm just gonna make it like five. Okay, cool. That's a cool one. Now, now after this, we're gonna have one when touched, and yes, we're gonna have to have to make a lot now as much uh, as much like uh, shot you have or like how much water you have in the guns we're gonna have to make that how much hitboxes so now right now we can see the zombie health so let's just put it here and yeah the game is not running as fast as, as possible whatever now we're just gonna make like attack him yeah oh yeah i forgot to just tell you just because i just remember something make it a little bit lower make it like like negative one so it goes down and now let's make it uh, now let's go here and make it if uh, and put the forever rules if zombie health is less than zero yeah actually you can make it less than one but i think zero is a good number if it's less than zero now we're gonna make it you die no, I'm just joking. I mean the zombie died actually. So let's go here and make it that the zombie disappears. So I have to want to be a cool animation when he disappears. So let's imagine like him spinning around. Well, not exactly like the spin like that. So let's have two of them and let's try it out. Okay. Wait, what is going on? Oh yeah, I have to take them for all of them, of course. Yeah, you're gonna have to take a lot of them to this because it's always gonna have to be negative for any fighting sake. Okay, this is gonna get fun, I guess. Okay, shoot. Oh yeah, I forgot to say. I forgot to put a forever loop. Like, I keep forgetting, guys. I don't know why, but you're also gonna have to do put a forever loop around them. So that actually helps a lot. Uh, actually, it actually helps a lot. Yay! Okay, that dying animation looked awesome. So, yep. 
that how you can make a shooting game and yes i'm gonna also make another uh, one where you're gonna make like a two-player shooting game of course this is gonna be so much fun and i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one bye